still a low average in the low 50s. All right, thanks so much, Justin. Hey, it's time to talk entertainment with John Castle Media from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Got a lot of things to run through. And uh, how about this story of Suzanne and Roseanne coming together for a possible show? It's almost too good to be true, isn't it? Yeah, and we're <laughs> talking Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers and Roseanne Barr. Suzanne mm. and Roseanne, they're, they're are, they are talking about doing a show in Las Vegas mm -hmm. uh, together. Now, how this would work is uh, one of them would do 45 minutes, the other one would do the other 45 minutes, okay. and then, or 40, and then they'd come at, uh, together at the end. Oh. They're old time friends, they've known each other forever, obviously they're TV icons. Mm -hmm. They've certainly had, she uh, is. There she is Chrissy, a, I like to call her. On a, <laughs> the Dancing with the Stars, yes? Yeah, Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Um, and they, they are unalike, which makes this very appealing. I wonder um, what's next. You know, I got this call and we talked about it. I talked to Alan Hamill, Suzanne Summers, husband and manager at length mm -hmm. about this. Ken Chanchamino in town who's booked a lot of shows here. They want to do it. And the thing is, they, they're putting it out there and hoping that they can draw interest. This is a little bit of wag the dog time with them. Mm -hmm. um, Suzanne Summers of, in uh, 2015 was at Westgate Cabaret in Suzanne Sizzles. Yeah, the I, name liked, of that show. I liked that I show. I like that show a lot, too. She has a long history in Las Vegas. Roseanne Barr has had a long history in mm -hmm. Las Vegas. Also, as a stand-up, of course, she came unraveled right. uh, last year when she um, you know, tweeted about Valerie Plain and, and her sitcom was canceled. There's a lot of controversy there. Mm -hmm. But Alan and Suzanne are into this and so is Roseanne and okay. we'll see what happens but it, they are definitely trying to do this okay to be continued hey a new country tribute show opening up too this is at the Miracle Mile shops yep. right at Planet Hollywood they always have successful shows there mm -hmm. people love to just kind of go they in the afternoon and at they night they stack them up 10 at a time they're at V Theater as I call it yeah. V Theater Miracle Mile shops Peter Pavone and um, Kurt Brown are the co-producers and, and uh, that's Peter on stage and Corey Sachs also on stage long time Las Vegas performers my friend Kelly Vaughn is in the show and you can see it here this is going to be a full-fledged country Country music tribute show with all kinds of stars. Johnny Cash, uh, George Strait, Dolly, Shania Twain, mm -hmm. Reba McIntyre. And it's going to be the only one of its kind in Las Vegas. So right. we're... Um <laughs> uh, we'll see. There's a mini boomlet of tribute shows going sure. on right now Country's in Las Vegas. Country's good, so though. People starts, love it. Yeah. The country does well in Las Vegas. It so, sure does. Uh, that starts March 3rd, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to see how, seeing how that performs. Okay, tell me about this master magician, magician Shin Lim. Am I saying it right? Now, he's going to be Lim. over at the Mirage. Oh, ba yeah. He is something else, man. Yeah. He is the champion of America's Got Talent champions. He's the champion of season 13 of America's Got Talent. And he, um, I interviewed him before they did the stage show at Paris a few months ago with the, with the, uh, the cast of the season 13 they brought in the top mm -hmm. five uh, performers the top finalists and he did a, sh a trick next to me that absolutely blew my mind okay. sitting just as close as you are with a with a, a card trick and he is unbelievable he's coming in uh, may 31st through june 2nd okay. is his first run in las vegas i highly recommend if you're into sleight of hand artistry yeah. see this guy he is unbelievable but okay. uh, yeah big big deal for him monday he won the whole thing champion of champions awesome mm -hmm. yeah that'll be a good show to get okay just a little less than a minute so power of love gal uh, honoring Lionel Richie this year, right? Yes. A great list of performers mm -hmm. uh, planned. Uh, there's all the information on their yep. website. But Jesse Smollett was supposed to make an appearance, and you're saying it looks like he's, you know, obviously going to be next from the Dana, list. Dana, I would bet the money in your pocket against the money in my pocket that Jesse's not going to be anywhere near this show yeah, exactly. <laughs> on the 16th. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, yeah, Lionel Richie, Neo, Miguel. Bernie Williams, the guitarist, who, baseball fans know him as a, a Yankee great. He is an incredible mu musician, great guy, and he's going to be there too. Okay. And it's always going to be fun, but I will. this is my beginning, middle, and end on Jesse. He, I don't believe he will be there. He was right. on the first list, not now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks so much, Kath. You can read more. You have a lot going on in your column. Oh, yeah, nonstop. <laughs> and uh, there's the link um, that we'll put up there. It's uh, in the review journal. The column's called Cats. Stay with us.